Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sim Casino. I almost, I almost said Anno. Hey, hey, it happens. Um, okay, so I made some changes to how the games work. So far, it gets a little. I just want to point this out. It gets a little scary sometimes, but overall, you will make more money this way. I'm pretty sure. So let me just take a look. So on this row of machines, all of these ones, all of these ones here are the dollar machines. Okay. Now, right now, their jackpot for the dollar is actually $300. And I'm considering changing this to a little higher value. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at that. But for now, it's 300 bucks. okay? Notice the double bet chance is 4%. And the jackpot chance is 4% as well. If I change this to $500, the double bet chance is still 4 But the jackpot chance after that drops to 2.4%. This makes this game more attractive to people because they can win more money. But really, their chances have dropped in actually winning it. When they do win, they win more. But they win less often. And that's where you can make some money. So I'm actually going to go ahead and finalize this, I think. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and copy this to all the other machines. And we'll uh, paste it in there and then randomize the games. Okay, cool. Next row. This is the $2 games. Now, the $2 games are currently set up in a relatively similar fashion. They have the same odds as before, the $2 was. But I'm going to bump this up to $800. Bucks. Eh, let's, let's, you know, let's bump it to $1,000. Why not? So $1,000 bucks for $2 games. You can win $1,000. Isn't that great? Sounds awesome. Let's go ahead and just highlight all of these. Whoops. That's not what I want to do. You. Uh, $1,000. bucks. Copy settings. And apparently I can't. Hello? Hi? What's going on? Hi, can I? Yeah, there we go. I don't know what the game's doing here. And we'll just do this for now. And we'll say paste game settings, randomize the games. There we go. So these are all now a lower chance, okay? A lower chance to win the jackpot. When they do win, it's bigger, but they win less often. Let's go back over here. My $5 slot machines are a $2,000 jackpot. This gives them a 3% chance on this jackpot win. This might be where I want to be here. Remember, they have a 4% chance to win the double, and then they get to play for the jackpot, but they only get to play for this if they won the double. So there's a lot of money going flowing through here. And again, we have the house advantage of 9%. Come over here. This is the $10 machine, huh? And I'm kind of trying to keep this around the 3% odds here. So $10 cost $4,000 jackpot. Again, it makes all these slots a bit more attractive. People get a little bit more hungry more people play the game and i like it uh let's go ahead and get some marketing going here i think i'm gonna go with just the local newspaper at excellent for today's tuesday so uh we'll go three days on this this is fine should bring in some extra people now these ones here haven't really been touched yet i haven't really done much with these and right now like it's actually pretty terrible the player cost is two dollars um they have a 21 percent chance to win double what they put in right like, that's super high odds to win twice what they put in. I don't like it. So we're going to change these machines. But these machines are going to get changed a little bit differently. Okay? Just I just want to see what it does. And, and actually, I probably should experiment. You know, I'm going to experiment another way here, actually. Um, let's make these ones, uh, let's say, a $2 and $5 machines. We could probably do that. Let's copy the game settings. We'll go like this. And uh, we'll paste this and randomize. So now these are even, yeah, these are the same ones. And again, we want to have not a 21% chance to double your money, right? A one in five chance that you double your money and then they just walk away, we lose, right? We want a 4% chance that you double your money. And then if you want to play for the jackpot after that, it's only 2.4%. I think we're going to win a lot more often than we lose here, even though the jackpot is higher. Every once in a while, you're going to see my, my vault which has now been increased to 20,000 because we might get people winning and I need to be able to pay out. But you're going to notice like this is going to drop sometimes. I've had this say 20,000 and then all of a sudden it would go down to like four. And I was like, oh, like what just happened? And then it's quickly back again, right? Like we pay out in bulk and then my guards, you know, they'll come in and they'll, the security will drop it in the vault. And then I'm like, ah, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> so it's all good. What I'd like to do with this row, right? This is the $2 ones. 
Um, this, these ones are going to be the $5 ones. So we're going to take this. Um, we need 12.3 gambling confidence for this. Like, it, you don't need a whole lot of confidence to play the higher value games anymore, right? Because the jackpot's so high, people without low, with low confidence are still going to play it, right? So we want to we want to actually have these be ten dollar ones probably, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go like this anyway. We're gonna take these as five dollar slots right here. So uh, we're gonna say uh, copy this, paste it into these machines, paste and randomize, and then also I want to check out some of the games too. So if we take a look at like this one here, it's Queens of the Sands. Show available games. You can see that Lucky Mill is actually pretty prop pretty popular. Uh, so is Elven Forest, but. Uh, Queen of Sands, not so much. So we can also adjust some of these games to more popular games. Maybe make them want to play them a little bit more. It happens sometimes. So we can just, you know, we'll tweak them a little bit, right? So there you go. Slot machines are more configured. Uh, they have higher big jackpots, but lower chances to double their money. That's the big thing. Rarely do does anyone win a jackpot. But very often are people winning double their money. It's cutting into my funds. Let's take a quick look here at financing. Daily profit. We're going to come down to like, say, day 11. Right? This is back when we had the old settings. Right? Gambling. We had $38,000 net income. Right? So $71,000 income, $32,000 in payouts. Dick. All right. Come back to day 13. Now look at this. $106,000 income. 49,000 in payouts. So a lot more income paid out a little bit more higher net. Now let's take a look at yesterday because yesterday was a big day too. And notice again, I had 150,000 and $91,000 in expenses. Okay. Now I also was moving things around a little bit there. So I had some expenses there, but look at this. This is the cash and payment or cash and payout receipts one is $83,000. And yet, despite paying out more for winners, I still made more money that day. So now that I've configured all of these, we'll see what we get. And um, right now my income is a little bit lower than my expenses. And it's because I, I, I've been, you know, there's installation fees and stuff, right? That's the big thing. It's not the cash payouts. Right now it's installation fees. So I, I anticipate us having a really high day here, but it's gonna get even better. Um, and, and actually I might need to wait a day just to sort of see that really play out, but I wanted to bring in marketing. So I have more people today. So it's 5 AM. And what I would like to do is I'm going to get different slot machines and we're going to have a high limit gambling zone right over here. Okay. These machines are like, you gotta have money to play here. Okay. And we're going to change up the design too, because these are all the same design. We're going to make these machines look a little different. And I think I like the KX43. It's got a nifty, huge display on it. And these could be fun to play in for these guys. So what I'm going to do, and I'm only going to be able to afford a couple of them right now, but that's okay because there's not going to be as many people playing here. So what we're going to do, we have randomized games on. So as we lay these in, they're automatically going to be randomized. I kind of don't care about that because I'm probably going to end up changing the gaming settings for them anyway. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a game that's really terribly unpopular. And by doing that, I should limit my fees. The installation fees is 30 bucks on this one. So we're going to use this one because it's lower fees. And then I'm going to be reshuffling them anyway. So what I'd like to do is we're going to see, I think it's going to be kind of like they're back to back. We want to go one extra section in, I think maybe two, I think two, because I'm going to have this be a walkway into the other areas. So, uh, yeah, so this will be here and then we're going to go and flip it around and have this be here. Yep. Okay. So, um, let's have, uh, this many 17, $21,000. Okay. So that limited my fees and stuff as I placed it too. So to start out, these ones are going to be really high. Uh, like this is these, we're going to hopefully making a lot of money here. Hopefully. We'll see. Maybe we have to pay out a lot of money. I don't know, but we're going to try it out. So the play cost on these ones is much higher. We're going to make a $50 play cost on these machines. Okay. But the jackpot for this is going to be, I think 10,000. Hmm. 
We can have a hundred thousand dollar jackpot if we want to on these. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we go twenty thousand dollars. We could say, hey, twenty thousand bucks if you win the jackpot. That's these are really high odds. I don't know. Let's say twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand reduces the jackpot odds significantly, and I think I like this. And the house advantage, of course, is going to be nine, but we're going to change this to twelve percent once we unlock the research for it, which is going to happen hopefully in this video. So uh, we have $50, $50 play cost. You've got a 4% chance of doubling your money and 2.4% chance of winning a jackpot. And the jackpot's 25 grand, so we're going to need to have a lot more than this in our vault. We're going to have to start saving up our money. But this is where I want to go with this one. So we're going to take and save the game uh, settings, and we're going to select all of these. And we're going to paste them. All right. Then I want to randomize the games. And so now we've got all of these machines set up. And I'm going to maybe change this one on the end to one of the more popular ones. And let's change this one here to Alvin Forest. And let's see this one on the end that we just configured. Uh, we'll change this one to Lucky Mill. All right. If you have a different game on each one of these, well, two Lucky Mills on the ends, but whatever. So those machines can potentially cost us a ton of money, but you have to have a pretty decently high uh, confidence, 122 confidence to play here. And I might actually reduce this. No, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it there. So yeah, significantly high. We're gonna make 50 bucks every time they hit the button, right? But how often do they win the jackpot? I don't know. We probably won't get hardly anybody playing in these machines. But the high limit gambling zone, that's where we're going to have them, okay? Okay, so we'll have to take a look and keep an eye on that because that's going to really cost us money. I'm going to go into my vault and tell my guys to keep, let's say, 40 grand stored in the vault just in case, right? So we sucked all the money out of our bank to do that, and uh, but we got 40 grand in there. So now the, the day begins. And uh, we should hopefully have people coming in around 9 o'clock is usually when a lot of the tourists come in uh, from marketing campaigns. There they are. All right, not that big, but that's okay. And again, only the people with really high gambling confidence and good amounts of money are going to play on these machines. So we're not likely to see anything big. Um, I actually want to adjust what the chairs look like because I don't really like this. So uh, we can go into the designer tool. And let's change the seat to... Actually, these ones look pretty cool. And I kind of like the dark color as well. But um, maybe the base doesn't really match. How about we take this darker color and make it even darker? There we go. And then this part here, we can maybe... Uh, we can go lighter with it, I think. Yeah, because this is like a very serious... Sort of like a dark black and silver kind of approach to the, ta to the chairs. I like it. All right, cool. Sounds good. So we'll take this gonna copy the design uh, yeah copy design enter multi select and then what we want to do is simply paste the chair design there we go all right so again I think we're probably gonna go all day with this without seeing a whole lot of people even play at this but if we do see it oh man it's on now isn't it oh it's gonna get exciting man Somebody comes in and wins 25 grand. That better make the local paper, right? That's a lot of money. So we're going to take a look at our vault, right? We're going to want to watch that. And uh, we started with 40,000. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got somebody. High roller. High roller. Frustration's high. She's got $8,000 in cash. Oh, boy. <laughs> Players Club member. Oh, we got we to gotta follow her. We got to... We gotta keep an eye on her. Oh my gosh. Frustration's probably gonna go through the roof here. Oh yeah, it is. You bet your ass it is. Oh, she's very frustrated. She's out of here. <laughs> All right, hold on now, let's see. Now I wanna take a look at finances tab and yeah, we've got $2,800 from just her just now. Uh-huh, sure. And the, the hope is of course that enough people will lose like say $25,000 so that when you do pay out the jackpot, well, you're just paying them other people's money, right? 
And that's, that's the goal. That's the goal. Now, her frustration is because she lost a lot of money, right? And she probably was going to go and get herself her free complimentary drink uh, by the Players Club. And actually, it looks like there's a lot of people in line for the Players Club. Oh, yeah, they heard about our bigger jackpots, and they want in. <laughs> they want in. Mm-hmm, get in here. And you know what? I think it's time to decorate this just a little bit. I'm going to take the floors, and uh, I've been kind of doing a little research, just a little bit, you know, on uh, casinos around me, right? Casinos I've got around me, and uh, a lot of the slot machine areas are carpet. So I'm going to make this carpet, and uh, I think we're going to go... Uh, like, a, I want a kind of a subtle design. I don't really want this to be... Like, this is okay, actually, but it doesn't really mesh well with the blue. I want something that meshes pretty well with that blue. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this. You know, red and blue kind of clash a little bit, and it seems like this... It actually looks kind of decent. This is pretty wild. Let's try this. So, we'll have... This is our main walkway. And so, what I want is to have the floor start right about here. And then we'll just make this area sort of like this area here is our our floor for the slot machines, right? There you go. So that looks pretty good. I like that. And it's it goes one tile uh, extends just because, like, I, I'm thinking out loud, of course. It probably doesn't do this in the game. But, like, they're going to scoot the chair out. And you, you wouldn't want it to, like, you know, slip in and... I'm imagining there's like this, it doesn't show it in the game, but like those little uh, seams, you know, they kind of, they got like a little gold border. I don't know what you call them. Uh, I'm not a construction guy, but I'm sure they have a nice fancy name and uh, they got those seams that kind of come around. And actually, you know what? Do we have stanchions? Oh, do we have stanchions? I know the name of those. I don't think we have them. I'm kind of hoping we can find them because like blocking this area off a little bit and making them kind of enter. Oh man. Yeah, we need a stanchion. <laughs> we need stanchions. I don't have them. Uh, I don't have them. That's that's unfortunate. Maybe I maybe I can get them in an additional decor or whatever, right? Um, and then there's this big casino sign we can put in, but maybe I'll put this back here because it's huge. Just an enormous casino sign. Put that back here. Really get them to be like, hey, look guys. Did you know it's a casino? Did you know? <laughs> Let's center this so that it's like centered up with the door. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe like one over. Eh, it might be moving too much, but I think we'll play that. Yeah, that's, that looks good. All right, that's the casino sign. How it's reflecting off the floor too. It's very nice. All right, so yeah, you wouldn't think like setting your your jackpots to be really high would be good for your money, right? But the thing is, when your jack oops, stop, I want to see the jackpots are high, right? Then this is like it draws people in. Like we can win, I can totally win. Nobody's gonna get excited about you know being able to play one or two dollars in a slot machine and maybe win a hundred bucks. No, no. But if you could play a couple hundred dollars at a slot machine and walk away with ten thousand dollars, now it's now we're talking, right? And that's what you want. Uh, but the sheet, I noticed though, the reason why I didn't do it initially because I didn't quite understand it. But when you up the jackpot, it actually brings the odds down in that double. That the, the double one is the key, I think. This, uh, this, uh, where is it? This here, the chance to double your money, right? That's the part I was I was actually losing money on that quite a bit because there was like a one in five chance that you doubled your cash, and if you're playing your game over and over and over again, well that's a pretty good chance that you're you're gonna be sitting there a while, yes, but um, you know you're gonna necessarily uh, you're gonna be doubling your money a lot and maybe walk away. So yeah, this person came in with a lot, doesn't have a whole lot left. Oh, sorry about that. Two hundred and eighty bucks in cash. Yikes. Player confidence is still up, and she's a player club member, so that's good. And this machine has gotten us $2,800. Thank you for playing. Bye. <laughs> uh, but one of these times, you know, one of these times, we're going to see our vault go pew, right? Just, like, just get demolished. 
Uh, it's gonna be fun to see that. Okay, now, over here, I was thinking for the bar area. Like, what do I want to do for the flooring in the bar area? And I still don't know. But I kind of want to decorate it just a little bit before we proceed. Because I got some cash. So, I'm thinking, um, for floors. I like the walls the way they are. The walls can stay consistent. But the floors, I think, are gonna change up. And, um... I was actually kind of looking at this marble. Eh, no. Absolutely not. Not bad. I like it. I like that darker color for this. You know, I like the darker color for this area. I'm going to make this bar area about like that. And that's going to be a darker floor. Yeah, I, I can dig that. That's cool. I still don't know what to do with this area over here, but we're starting to look a little bit more like a casino. If I could just get my stanchions, <laughs> we are be in good shape. Maybe fences. Oh, fences! Stanchions! Stanchions are here! Yes, the stanchions have arrived. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Uh-huh, all the way around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't mind us, we're just... You know, we're just these friendly, your friendly neighborhood stanchions. Blocking off the area. No big deal. This is our gambling zone. <laughs> oh, good. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, how do I do this? Um, is it the same thing? Yeah. Same thing as the... There we go. Uh, just that one. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. There we go. Huh? Come on. Now, do they all do they all go in the one way then? No, they can still get out little, yeah, little gaps and stuff. They can get through there. Oh, come on. That's awesome. Now, you might be thinking, how come you don't have the stanchions here? Well, I was thinking that it was going to need more room to get in and out, but they actually don't. So, we're going to take and make the stanchions right here instead. And we're just going to go like this. And I think that's a little bit too far. Yeah, that's a little bit too far. Let's dismantle here. There we go. Dismantle all of this. And uh, and this. There we go. All of this can get dismantled. And that's pretty good, man. All right. We're going to block off our area here, okay? <laughs> just, to, just to do it. I don't know. I might, I might change it. But it looks... At least it gives us, like, a definitive border. And people can still move around in there, right? Kind of controlling traffic and this is a decent tool honestly for security purposes like if we wanted to make it to where everyone had to go out a the same way every time we could have our patrol route for our security be right there at the opening of the stanchions you know that's something we could have done gotta look into that man so it's 11 15 11 30 i think we can probably see what our profit and loss is today now I bet you it's pretty good. I bet you it's probably our best day we've ever had. Let's take a look. So, profit and loss. Day 16. Bam! Look at this income. Oh, my God. We made a quarter million dollars in income because of these. More people coming in. They're winning. They're doubling their money less often. Now, we had high expenses, too. All right. Our payout receipts were 148000 But look at the net. The net is all that matters, as far as I'm concerned. Because you're going to pay out more with this, right? People are going to win jackpots. It's going to happen. But, I mean, 58000 We changed our policies. That's pretty much all we did. We just changed the odds. That's it. Um, and then I added these machines, but they're not that big of a deal. Like, not that many people played at these. But between just changing up the rules to increase the jackpot but decrease the chances to double your money, we almost doubled our money <laughs> on gambling. Now, that's pretty sick. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, now we can really start to think about how to expand this. And, um, like, I might add another row of slot machines in here eventually, but uh, I'd like to take a look, since we are profitable here, I'd like to take a look at what it might take to get some table games set up potentially. And um, I, I mean, I could do them in this area, but I, I kind of, I don't know. I got, 
I got ideas that I, I don't know if I can actually do yet. So I'm I'm kind of trying to see what we get later on. Um, I might get... Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Okay, so I think for this, we can come in with the wall tool here. And um, I want to put just like a little... Not a super big area yet, but if I was to go and put it like... I know that's not, not a super big area. What do you mean? Yeah, but I think actually we can go ahead and do this. I can bring it all the way out like this. It's a $30,000 construction project, and that's not that great, honestly, because, these, like I said, the table games don't really make you a lot of money. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them over here, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll start here. Yeah, we'll, we'll start here. So to, to get this going, we're going to need to dezone the fencing. Uh, not there. We want it right here. This is going to be our opening. I probably should scoot this back, to be honest, um, to make this a bigger opening. That's not that big. It's pretty narrow. Like, I don't think casinos really do that, you know? I don't think they really block things quite like that. This three-wide opening is better. And honestly, I, you know what? We could do this. Yeah, we could have the sliding door happen here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, okay. That works. That works. Um, let's put this wall back. Here we go. And then um, we'll just do this door. Yeah, that's better. I'm good with that. Okay, good. Uh, so this is the exterior. We want to go ahead and copy this and paste it around like that. And then um, the interior wall for this, uh, I'm not sure what it will be yet. But this is going to be some cards. We're going we're gonna to have some, some table games here. Right, because we're super profitable here, we can afford to experiment with other types of games, right? So, let's take a look and uh, go to gambling attractions. I, I'm really tempted to make this my hold'em poker room, man, but I kind of feel like it should be its own little thing, and this is like a pass-through area, so maybe not, because um, I, I kind of want them to pass through the slot machines, or at least pass around the slot machines. Be honest i think the whole area should be slot machines because they have to pass directly through them i think is probably the best way to go about this but we'll see um what i'm gonna do here instead though is we're gonna do a couple of things the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a pit boss room and um i was thinking it could probably be in in this area uh, i could extend this but then the pit boss is gonna have to walk all the way over here to get to where they are and i don't know if i don't know if they need to i, I don't know if there's a like if they, i don't know how they work per se so i think we'll we'll set the pit boss up like right over here instead so let's find the that facilities pit boss office zone it needs to be three by two same conditions as the uh the research office right oh speaking of research i want to get the solar panels. There they are. Go ahead and get that. Um, so we're going to take and get the walls. I can find it, I swear. And we're going to go like this. A little tiny office, all right? It's a staff-only room, which we can put in, I guess, right here. Yeah, we'll put a little staff-only door right there. And then um, we put the computer desk in here, just the same as... Uh, same as before. Yep. There's the pit boss office. So we'll have a pit boss now. Then we build our table games. And I'm thinking... Uh, hmm. We want roulette, maybe? Start things off. You can have a roulette table, maybe right here. And we could do one, say, two games of roulette on this side. Then I think we'll take blackjack. And again, these are not that profitable. So... We don't really want to go super heavy on them, um, but I want to have at least like two, right, of each one. So we have two blackjack, two of the roulette here, uh, and then I'm thinking we take three card poker, and we can kind of go along this side, uh, or not. Maybe. Oh, I'm out of money. Ah. Okay. See, don't want to go too heavy on it. Um, the next thing. I'm going to do here. I, I was hoping, and it doesn't look like I have enough room, so I might need to expand this, but I was hoping to have the card games, everything's like this, and then we would have in the center would be this round drinks bar. It would be right in the center. 
And so we'd have sort of like around the card games. But I don't think I left enough room for that. Um, so instead, we'll have this other drinks bar, I think. And we can place this um, like, actually, maybe it would actually fit better right here, wouldn't it? I think it fits way better here. Because it just kind of, it just makes, I think it just makes sense. You walk in, you see the drinks, you see the card games. Yeah, let's do that instead. Okay. But I spent all my money <laughs> uh, moving these things around. So let's do three card poker uh, there. Um, you can see people are already coming in to play blackjack. And we have not configured the games yet. So let's go ahead and just pause it for a second because everybody's playing card games now. Yeah, they want to come in here and play these because they don't pay us very well. Um, but we're we're gonna let's configure this right now. Let's, let's just do it. So um, for roulette, all we really can do for this until we can modify the rules ourselves. And notice that this has already cost us a lot because we have to pay the wages of these guys, right? Um, but what we would like to do is the minimum bet right now it's just five dollars but during peak times we can make this higher so let's say ten dollars during peak times okay so if you're not in the peak you can play lower limits but if you're in uh, peak time you have to play higher limits and this might deter people from playing but that's okay we'll just do that for now um over here on blackjack i think we'll do the same thing and i think you know Ten dollar minimum bet in blackjack is uh, is not that bad, honestly. Uh, speaking from experience here, <laughs> not that bad. Uh, and then three card poker. I think I uh, will just take the same thing. So all those are going to be like that. Let's let it run. And uh, I think we can design these a little differently too, can't we? Make these look different. Do these not have? Do these not have design options? Well, that's that's a shame. Oh, I want the wood trim and stuff to be consistent with everything else. What about these? Can I can I do it here? Okay, you have a designer tool. Um, change the table. Change the, yeah, let's make it like this. Actually, kind of like that. Blackjack, black chairs. Why not? Just uh. Yeah, yeah. Let's just uh, change these two. And then um, is there anything else we can do for this? Object color. Okay, okay. So we can make them darker if I want to. Um, oh, yeah. That makes it consistent with the other chairs. That's uh, not bad. It's consistent with all these other ones, right? So, okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and apply that. And then same thing with you. Okay, good. Yep. All right. So that'll be blackjack. And then we have the roulette, of course, happening. And then over here, same thing. We want the chairs to be consistent throughout uh, our casino. So there we go. Okay. So when we get a little bit more cash, because I spent it all in this room, <laughs> when we get a little bit more cash, I'll drop another three-card poker room, and then I'm actually going to move. I think I'm going to move blackjack. I might move three-card poker here and here, blackjack here and here, and then the bar. We might do that. We'll see. It's like a card room, right? And then... Over here, I want to have... And I know it's a complete waste of money. I know it is. But I want to have a big old poker room, man. Because that's just my jam. Okay? Just my jam. And I think also I'm going to copy all of these machines and paste another row of them right here. And maybe one more row right here. So that people have to walk through them. I probably will do that. Because that's just what you should do with a big casino like this. Unless you need some decorations and stuff. And I'm still waiting to get my... I got to get my fountain. I want the fountain right here is what I'm hoping to do. Big old fountain right here. And then just some chairs and decor, decor. Like some place people can just hang out. Kind of like this is doing. This is sort of my uh, my pseudo let's do it that way. But I don't have the room for it kind of thing. But I'd, I'd like to do that. And um, I think I could actually do it right now. Let's slow it down for a second. So it's not nauseatingly fast. Um... I could probably do a little bit of it now. We have these benches that we could place. And, um, you know, I can, again, make them a little bit more consistent with the rest of them. And if I wanted to, I could place these kind of all over the place. We could even do this little fire pit thing if we wanted to. Or these different coffee tables. Right? Actually, this would not be half bad to put in here. Ooh, I like that. Um, stand by. 
Stand by. Want multi select, please? Move these to be here. Or what do, do we do one more? No, I think. I think it's going to have to be here. Yeah. And then um, we take these three and move them kind of like this. I don't think these are going to line up. They kind of don't line up directly, do they? That's unfortunate. It's because these are too wide and these are three wide. So if I wanted to do it this way, I would need two wide couches. Which is doable. Um, we can we can do that. And actually, I can change it to be these couches and make them... I mean, it's a little bit too much blue, right? But actually, I kind of like these more. They're three wide, though. Um, we could do the two wide ones instead. Yeah. You know, I think it's cool. Let's change the color of the pillow to be that gray color instead. Yeah. Let's, let's modify this a little bit. I'm going to take and dismantle that one, dismantle that one, dismantle that one, move you over to here, and we will go ahead and replicate you here, here, and here. And then we'll do the same thing with this one, this one, and this one. And then we'll eyedropper that to be back like... Actually, I can move this a little bit closer now, can't I? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> uh, no, I can't. I can move this over though. Like that. Yeah. Alright, so we'll have it have it be like this. It's a little bit different of a lounge, right? But I think it looks uh it looks interesting. I don't know if it looks better, but it looks interesting. Uh, and then of course this is too much blue. So we're gonna take the design on this and um we want the pillows to match the table. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm actually not digging the coffee tables anymore. Now that I got these in place, I actually don't like them. Yeah. Uh, I think something more wood grain would, would work better. Not this. Oh, come on now. There's got to be a better one. Oh, big TV. Look at this. Oh, yeah. You know it. Oh, look. This is interesting, isn't it? Okay. That's interesting. Hang on. Sports bar, anyone? I feel like you gotta have it, right? Over here, at least. I would have put one right there. I would have put another one right there. Screw it. We're spending money today. If we're making enough of it. We can spend it, right? I can't. I think I like this coffee table more. It, this is. It's. It's too. I don't know. It's kind of monotone almost. And um, I like to change the color. To match the like the tone of all the other wood that we have, this isn't quite the same, but it's close. It's closer. Maybe all the way down. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, now that's interesting. It's more interesting anyway. There's a lot of space, but I like it. I'm going to do it. We're going to put you here and you here. So that's like a little lounge area for them. <clears throat> right? And it looks a little bit different than it did before. So you can do all sorts of things to decorate this. Isn't it nice? And then this one here. I, I think I'm going to keep the three wide on this, but we're going to, of course, make it theme, uh, theme appropriate. So there we go. And... Uh, Nifty, huh? Super good. Now the thing I have to do is get people to want to play these really high odds ones, huh? Uh, let's, um, I think I kind of want to move these over against the wall. I don't think enough people are going to play them for me to need them right here like this. So um, why don't we move them up against the wall? Right about here is fine. And um, of course that costs us a little bit of cash. But what I can also do is... We have let's, let's let's add one add one right here or i can't because this machine costs too much okay never mind this one has twenty eight hundred dollars in it twelve hundred dollars yep twenty eight hundred oh yeah good did we get our solar panels wait 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 did we get them 
Not yet. How's the research coming? Research is... <laughs> okay. So we uh, basically have it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so what I'm thinking also next is we maybe go for, like, the buffet and kitchens. Possibly. Bigger marketing sounds cool. Actually, advanced security. A much stronger vault door, camera booth, and cameras. Use cameras to detect hackers and thieves. Now, this seems like something we would probably want to get sooner. Let me take a quick look and see if we have a thieving problem. Okay, so in total, we've had $3,400 stolen from us. I don't know if theft is really that big of an incident. Um, lately, it seems like we've deterred theft. Uh, stole $79. I think most of this was stolen early on. I thought, anyway. $216 stolen on day 16. I think most of that money was stolen early. I've since uh, ramped up security a little bit. We've got two people that are allowed to chase down a criminal now. But in addition to that, my patrol route also has um, kind of expanded like this. And... Um, more security are in those routes. So we have three people patrolling this whole area like this at all times. Um, well, not all times. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Um, and then in that little extra hours of night, we lose one security guard. And then from 12 to 11 a.m., it's only one. Because there's not really all that many... Um, there's not really all that much of a threat in the morning, usually. So I've kind of got them shifted around. But uh, security measures might be something to look into. In the meantime, though, I think I want to go up to second floor. And I'm going to put in some solar panels because we can. So let's take a quick look. And they're $800 a piece. <clears throat> but I'm actually not sure which side the sun comes in on. I don't think it matters, to be honest. In the game, it doesn't. Um, it matters in real life, but not in the game. So we're going to place them one, two. You know, let's just kind of do this gonna place a bunch of these now obviously it's gonna take a long time for these things to pay for themselves but each one of these should be reducing our electricity cost by four dollars per hour okay so let's take a quick look and see what our finances are for infrastructure uh yesterday yep electricity we paid 368 dollars in electricity on day 17 and today so far it's uh, 12, uh, it's 1 a.m. So far we paid 16, nope, now $32. So we're paying about $16 per hour is what we're paying for electricity, okay? Now, I might have done the math there and uh, $16 per hour, it costing us. Well, this is more than that. You know, four, eight, you know, we, we, we could get by with just these four right now. Um, on that reduction, but I don't think it's next. It's necessarily going to be that direct. What I'm kind of hoping is to overproduce uh, and really just make it free during the day, right? But these solar panels, this is not net metering, uh, which means we do not sell it back to the grid like a lot of other games do, unfortunately. And uh, so overproducing really doesn't matter all that much. We're just going to say that I bought them to help us in the future. So we'll just go with that for now. Okay. Let's come back down to my, my card table here. Nobody's playing cards right now because we, uh, we the card cards and stuff, we don't have them being operated 24-7. So we'll put this poker here. And you know what? I think we'll go ahead and just get another poker table right there. Uh, we'll take the blackjack. It's going to go like, like this, I guess. We'll put, it, put the other blackjack, I guess, right over here like this. It's probably okay doesn't quite line up but it's is it, is it a big deal i don't know i'll let you be the judge uh and then we want the bar to be here i want another i want another bar so we're gonna take and make yeah i just didn't quite get the room you know what i'll use this design for the poker room that's what we'll do uh so let's have the bar put in right here and you know what i actually want it to be consistent with this but can we copy the design and paste the colors and textures here. Okay, that's gonna need adjusted. It's not not a direct one-to-one, -one, but all right. 
So we'll go back to designer tool and um, I'm thinking I want to change this backdrop here to be a bit more like, uh, wow, it's not gonna be a direct, we can make it, we can make each room its own flavor, I guess. We don't have to have it be the same every time, right? Maybe we have it be consistent with these or try to anyway. Something like this, I guess, it's, it's fine. Um, and then this bottom piece, we can make it darker like that. For the tabletop, we can style it a little bit differently than we did over there, I guess. We could go... Ooh, that's too dark. Mm, this is what we used over there, I think. Yeah. Well, let's maybe do it a little bit different than over there. We can make it... Uh... No, a little more rustic, actually. Yeah, give it a little more rustic. Ooh, never mind. I'm sold on this color, this color combination. I like this. I'm gonna do that for my basement. Hmm. Is this a tad darker here, maybe? But nah, I'm good with that. Um, for the chairs, eh, it's not really a cheap. We don't have to make it cheap. This is too fancy. Uh, what do we do over here? Okay, they had like the little, they had like the little arms. Can we do the same thing here? Yeah, we don't want it to necessarily be the same chairs as this. We'll put the, the little arms on them, I guess. And then uh, let's change the color to be, make these like a darker, go like a silvery color tone. Actually, you know what? I kind of like the, the chair design here. I sort of like this chair design. Um, if I went to the designer tool for this, um, if I copy this, can I paste it? Can I paste this here? Um, okay, well I kind of can. It changed everything else, but that's that's doable. We can we can adjust that back piece. That's okay. Um, so the back piece is gonna be going to be a bit more brown. There we go. Uh huh. Yeah. Not quite, but it's getting there. And then that color, that color combo we had right here, yeah. Hmm, maybe we do that same thing in the back. I think we make it consistent, right? Okay. This one, I want you to match this one. There we go. All right, sounds good. So we have two bars in here now. And of course, we're gonna want to have you know, like decorations and color the room and, and all that stuff too, right? Because obviously the, the walls and stuff, their design is not great right now. So maybe we'll focus on that look too. Uh, we want maybe themed walls. We could do something silly like that. You know, we could go like, uh... <laughs> no. Uh, I thought about it and changed in my mind. But uh, a darker tone to these walls wouldn't be half bad. I like dark tones for card card rooms. And uh, I'm thinking like, you know, I need a different theme. This isn't working out for me. Isn't that the same? Yeah, I don't know if I want it to be the exact same pattern as that. Maybe not, maybe not themed walls. Um, maybe we go with paneling instead. Yeah, not bad. Let's uh, adjust the color of that though. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting a little bit closer to what I'm looking for. All right now it's a little dark on the the bar anyway, so I don't know. Maybe the maybe that'll change. The bar is a little bit. It's like the same color as everything else, right? But uh, and then for the floor in here, I, I do think carpet is the way to go for card areas too. And uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe like a darker carpet. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we're gonna have to change the walls because everything is really dark in here now. Uh, I do like the contrast that the tables have against the um, the dark floor. But the other thing to consider is when people drop cards or like things drop on the floor, they're usually bright colored. All the cards are have white faces, um, and they're gonna have like you know brightly colored backs and stuff. Usually in a casino, um, so darker floors also they'll show up on the floor like that too. Um, I'm gonna say maybe we change this bar again uh i want you know what we're gonna go light we're gonna go lighter on this and we're gonna go like 
like a silvery color here like this I think yeah we're gonna we're gonna go a little lighter on this just to give that contrast okay I like it and then this is our card tables and everything there too now when we do research we can do research to give us even a better house advantage <laughs> I like the descriptions here too it says improves the odds by increasing the maximum edge the casino can have in games and slot machines increases from 9 to 12 then this one uh and for house for high house advantage says improve your odds further to 15 percent and finally at this one it says set the advantage to 18 percent do you want to rethink your life at this point <laughs> i love that uh yeah and actually you know in this little card area what we could do is maybe like a little annex as we continue continue to make this way we could do sports betting and stuff on this area too that's not bad we could look into sports betting um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. here we go see they're gonna come in here and hang out now we can also do some decor stuff in here because this is not uh this isn't really all that good for environment so if we wanted to we could and by if we wanted to i mean i do um we could take and Ooh, what about these wall lamps do they look good in here not bad um the adjustment for this though unfortunately is not the color wood it's it's um the light color and so okay hold on the dark yeah the black and white here this work this works um so we're gonna go one away from the door like that and then we're gonna go like that and then one two three four five six seven wow right behind, nice um okay then we go one two three four five six seven i swear to god one two three four five six seven it's yeah okay tell you what we'll go like this and then we'll move this one over like that yeah that's good uh and then we'll keep you on the same thing uh i drop her that you want to go uh one two three four, five one one two three four five six seven and then one two three four five six seven and then over here we'll put another light as well okay cool so there's like it's a lit room now at least you know and then maybe we want some overhead lighting as well just to kind of keep it uh working out we could go with like these little bar lights and we could say you know we generally speaking you don't want a card room to be dimly lit So I think we'll make this like pretty bright put some ceiling lights up there too um it's okay for the bar to be dimly lit but the card tables you want there to be a lot of light with those and so we've got that happening now too so cool we got ourselves a little card room doesn't it look nice did we miss any card room or any card games I mean we don't have craps which is really unfortunate because that's like one of my favorite games to play um we don't have Pi Gao poker either hmm Baccarat I actually don't have a clue how to play Baccarat I've never played Baccarat I don't know but um yeah uh big TV we could totally put that in here absolutely uh we can put that hmm I say absolutely but where I guess it could go right here but now come on they're playing cars not watching sports <laughs> uh how's our how's our other machines doing Is this making money Okay, so we've made 2200 bucks on this one. Uh, we've Nobody's won a jackpot yet, right? We'll know because the profit will be really, really bad. <laughs> Nobody's won a... Nope, nope, not yet. Okay, good. All right, guys, you know what? Seriously, this is coming together. I'm digging this. Tell me what you think. Comments down below. We got a card room, right? We got nice slot machines. I'm probably going to extend this all the way this way. Uh... Just so that people have to walk through the slots to get over here and uh i am looking forward to reading your comments eventually here too i think i'm gonna stop the recording here probably and um just let you guys bask in the glory that is the lucky seven mm -hmm. it's it's happening it's doing really well and uh our total value if we wanted to sell it is six hundred and seventy-five thousand. So we're doing really nice there we only owe we only owe forty three thousand dollars left for our debt as well so that's uh that's happening too we're paying off that pretty well too 
credit rating is under 500, but whatever. I will see you guys next time where we build a big poker room right here. A big one. I want a whole bunch of poker. I know it's going to cost me money. I know it will make me nothing. And that's okay because I just want it. So that's going to be it. And maybe we'll get into sports betting off in this area. <laughs> Take care, guys. We'll see you. Bye-bye.